Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day, and hello from Disney's Animal Kingdom. So today, I want to have an open, honest discussion on how expensive it is to visit Walt Disney World in 2022. I've been saying this for the past six months or so, but I've been feeling lately that Disney is trying to outprice the average guest, and I've been telling myself there's no way they can't do that but that's how I've been feeling and then in my recent videos down in the comment section I've been seeing a lot of you guys feel the same way I've been coming here to Disney World for the past 10 years very often and this is also going on year number seven of me living here in Central Florida coming to these parks multiple times a week and doing this YouTube thing and this last year going into 2022 this has been the highest I've ever seen these prices going for. What really gave me this idea to make today's video was in my last video, I was inside of Epcot to celebrate New Year's Eve and I was checking out the new 50th anniversary merch and I came upon the 50th anniversary lounge fly backpack that was $300. Now, I know it's exclusive for the 50th anniversary. I mean, what's going on? Now, what I'm going to be doing in this video, I'm going to go inside of Animal Kingdom and I'm just going to break it all down completely from your parking fees to your park tickets to your upgrades like Disney Genie Plus to your hotels, food and merchandise, etc. I'm gonna show you guys how much it is to stay on Disney property right now. Honestly, there's really no benefits anymore to staying on Disney property. And I'm also going to show you guys a few hotels just right down the road for not even half of the price that it is to stay here on Disney property. So we have a lot to talk about. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. First up, let's talk about how much it is to park here at the four Walt Disney World theme parks. Preferred parking, which is what I'm showing you guys right now, which allows you to park pretty close to the front entrance, it's going for $45 to $50 per day. Standard parking, car or motorcycle, $25 per day. Oversized vehicle parking, shuttle, limo, camper trailer, RV bus or tractor trailer, $30 per day. There's also disability parking at your standard rate for $25 per day. Also keep in mind, if you don't want to pay to park, they do offer rideshare options with Lyft, Uber, and taxi service, and you get dropped off right at the front of the parks. I should emphasize this, every park besides Magic Kingdom, if you get dropped off at the Magic Kingdom, you will be dropped off at the Ticket and Transportation Center where the monorails and the ferry boats are. Don't forget, if you are staying on Disney property, you do have your free Disney transportation, which includes your bus services, your boat services, Skyliner services, etc. All that is included. Okay, next up, let's talk about how much it will cost you for your tickets. Right now, as of January 2022, for one park per day, your ticket will cost you $109 per ticket for ages 10 plus. If you want to add your park hopper option, you're going to pay an additional $65 per ticket, which is going to cost you $169 per ticket when you can park hop after 2 p.m. Keep in mind, park reservations are required. And then if you want to upgrade to Park Hopper Plus, which includes your water parks, $85 more. So a total of $194 per ticket. Now, obviously, the longer you stay and the more you come to the Disney parks, the cheaper it gets, but not by that much, as you guys can see right here. But there is a little bit of a catch when you're buying your Disney tickets. Disney will price their tickets depending on the day you are planning on visiting. So if you're coming on a holiday, be prepared to pay a lot more or if you're coming on a peak time like summer and spring break, be prepared to pay a lot more. But there are times during the week where you won't pay as much on a non-peak time. But if you're buying a ticket for ages three through nine, you're only going to be paying $114 per ticket. And then if you're coming here with an infant, you don't have to pay for their tickets. Now keep in mind, right now when visiting Disney World, you have to have a valid theme park reservation to enter any of the four Walt Disney World theme parks and that's going to continue for the future, Disney has said, so we don't know how long this will be, but for now, you have to have that theme park reservation with your park tickets. And I believe the reason for that is this is just the way Disney can control and limit their crowds because of COVID, 
Also, if you want to go to Disney Springs, that is still free of charge. Also here at Disney World, they offer two water parks. Right now, Blizzard Beach is under refurbishment and Typhoon Lagoon just reopened and that is an additional charge as far as ticket pricing. Now let's talk about the newest and biggest upcharge and upgrade that you can purchase when you're here and that is Disney Genie, which is free, Disney Genie Plus, which is $15 per day per person and individual lightning lanes. So, before the park shut down because of COVID and the pandemic, Disney would offer Fast Pass Plus, which was included in your park admission. And that was basically, you get three Fast Passes per day. That way you don't have to wait in three lines. Now, Disney is charging for that, which is called Disney Genie Plus, where you pay $15 per person per day and you get to cut the lines. You don't have to wait in line, but it's not every attraction. But for the bigger attractions like Flight of Passage, Seven Doors Mine Train, Remy's Ready to Adventure, and Rise of the Resistance, you have to pay an additional amount to ride those. And those prices will vary depending on what day. So right now, Rise of the Resistance is $15, and that is an upcharge. But that way, you don't have to wait in line. But also keep in mind, you don't have to pay for Disney Genie Plus or individual lighting lane. You can still come and use the standby lines and you can also try to get your boarding group for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure at 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. I have done a full video explaining in great detail how Disney Genie Plus and individual lightning lane works. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll be sure to leave it down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Okay, let's head in so I can physically show you guys how much everything is going for right now. I have officially made it in. Also keep in mind, you can rent ECVs, wheelchairs, and strollers here, and also lockers. And here's the prices for your strollers. They offer single and double strollers, your wheelchair price, and then here's your, oh, they don't have ECV. I think it varies depending on the day. Excuse me, how much are your ECVs going for today? $70, and then you get $20 back for a deposit? Okay, so 50. Thank you so much. Oh man, we have more and more entertainment returning to the parks. It's so good to see her once again, live in person. And like, that's one of my current bigger issues with Disney right now is when, you know, the park shut down and then four months later they reopened. Disney really did not bring back any entertainment. And I feel like as a paying guest or a paying customer, entertainment is such a big thing to have at Disney World as far as like meeting Mickey Mouse or stage shows, parades, etc. And Disney hasn't really brought back a lot of entertainment. In fact, Bob Chapek, I feel like he does not like entertainment and that's the easiest thing to cut. You know, it, entertainment is slowly starting to return. Like we are now starting to have parades once again, stage shows, um, somewhat of a meet and greet, but it's like, come on, we're going into a brand new year. The parks have been open for quite a long time now. It's time to start bringing back entertainment. Another big upcharge that you can purchase on your vacation here at Walt Disney World is Photo Pass, which is a photo package for you and your entire family. You can find photographers throughout the four Walt Disney World theme parks, water parks, Disney Springs, the resorts. Next up, let me show you guys how expensive Disney merchandise is right now. So I did find a simple Disney Parks lounge fly backpack theme to Nightmare Before Christmas. And I just wanted to show you the price tag. This one, $75. So the newer ones are going for 85 and then the one I was talking about for the anniversary, $300. Now for a simple woman's Disney Mickey Mouse V-neck shirt, you're looking at $30. For a pretty cool tie-dye backpack, the price, $60. I found another woman's t-shirt, the price, $40. Let me get closer, you see that? $39.99. Thank you for holding that up. <laughs> now let's talk about the Disney Spirit jerseys. Now these have always been a hot ticket item Everybody loves these spirit jerseys. Disney keeps making really nice spirit jerseys. However, these are the older spirit jerseys with a different type of material. 
These are going for $75. Now, let's talk about the Minnie Mouse ear headbands. These are going for $30. Now, I have seen these go for a lot more, but these are $30. You guys remember a few years ago, these simple Minnie Mouse headbands were going for like $16.99, $19.99. These are pretty fun to collect, but these are called Disney Wishables, $14.99 each. If you want to buy pens or pencils, they vary from $7.99 to $9.99. But when you buy three or more, $7 each. Any of the Disney bagged candy under eight ounces, $6.49. Also, I don't understand why Disney won't put prices on a lot of the merchandise nowadays. They'll just tell you a color and then you go look for the color and there's no sign. Okay, I just found the prices for the light up souvenirs and for the exclusive Little Mermaid bubble wand. These have been here for a very long time. I remember when I was a kid, these were out $30. Three, zero. Now this is kind of when I start to draw the line when I come to parks. I try to never buy soda or waters. I just bring my own because Diet Coke, $4.22 each. Look at that. Monsters, $5.29. Tea, $4.22. Powerade, $4.69. Smart Waters, $5.50 and then just your regular Dasani water, $3.50. And for all of my pen collectors out there, because I am a pen collector, it's a lot of fun, but for this one, which is kind of simple and basic, $17.99. And if you wanna start your own pen trading set just for this starter kit, you guys wanna guess the price? I'll wait. $34.99. If you want to buy Disney Monopoly, well, $50. Magic bands, which they used to be free. They are no longer free if you're staying at a Disney resort. They vary from $20 to $35. Now, the Disney phone cases will vary, but for this really nice Disney Parks Otter Box, which is themed to Minnie Mouse, you're looking at $70, $70. These 50th anniversary Nike golf hats, $45. Oh, nice. They have these really cool 50th anniversary Mickey hand soap dispensers back in stock, but they don't have a price on them. I did show you guys these new 50th anniversary spirit jersey hoodies, and they are going for $150. I did find the price for the matching ears, which would be $40. There's also a matching pair of pants, so I'm guessing this is a track suit, but the pants, $130. These Disney plush babies, $35. And when you start to get to the limited edition items or the very exclusive items, the costs will go up a lot. I think that pretty much gives you guys a pretty good idea to how much Disney merchandise is going for right now. Yes, it's expensive, but you also buy stuff to make memories or buy an item, take it home. That way you get to remember it. I just wish the prices will kind of start to die down a little bit, but unfortunately I think they're going to be going up even more within this next year of 2022. Check out the prices for your Disney ice cream. Your Mickey premium ice cream bar, $6. Your ice cream sandwich, six. Others, $5.75, $5.50. And a frozen lemonade cup, $5.75. Like these are pretty average for a theme park, but I think this price is going to go up in 2022. Now, there are still some free stuff to do around the parks, like you can be a wilderness explorer. That's free to do. Oh man, right now, flight of passage, 165 minutes standby wait. Oh my goodness, that is the current end of the line to ride Kilimanjaro safaris. Look at this crowd. My, oh my. Let's quickly talk about dining, which is why I'm here in front of Tusker House, which is one of my favorite places to eat here at Animal Kingdom. This is a family style restaurant with an African flavor and you get to meet characters for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And here's the current price to eat lunch and dinner at the same cost. Guests ages three through nine, $36. Ages 10 and over for adults, $55. Let's quickly talk about some dining options. So I just showed you guys the price for Tusker House, $55 per adult. That doesn't sound that bad if you're coming alone or if you're coming as a couple, but when you start to add the kids, the grandparents, the standard family who typically visits Walt Disney World, they come at least as a family of four, if not more. So 
55 times 4 starts to add up pretty quick. I'm passing by Restaurantosaurus. Here's a quick look at their menu. A Angus bacon cheeseburger, $11.99 served with french fries. They also have a Impossible Spicy Southwestern burger, $11.49. Chicken breast nuggets, eight piece, $9.99 with fries. Walt's Main Street Fried Chicken Sandwich, $10.99. A Cobb Salad with Chicken, $10.99. And Walt's Chili on a foot long cheese dog, $13.49. And then here's a quick look at the kids menu. PB&J Uncrustable, $8.69, cheeseburger, $9.49, and chicken breast nuggets, four-piece, $9.49. And those come with either cuties, applesauce, in low-fat milk, or small Dasani bottled water. Dang, right now, Expedition Everest has a 80-minute standby wait. Now, let's quickly talk about how expensive it is staying on Disney property at one of the Walt Disney World resorts going into the new year of 2022 as of the beginning of January. Like I had mentioned earlier, there's really no more good perks and benefits to staying at one of the Disney World hotels just because they took everything away that we really enjoyed. You don't get free transportation to and from the airport anymore. You don't get free magic bands anymore. The only real good benefit to staying on property nowadays is you do get access into one of the parks 30 minutes early before everybody else, which that way you get your Disney Genie Plus and individual lighting lane options first before the general public but yeah that's pretty much all that you get but for now let me show you guys what the prices are going for this week disney's caribbean beach 246 dollars a night french quarter 262 coronado springs 241 and that is all that's available for this week just because it's pretty busy. I had to change my search to mid-April just because there really wasn't that much availability until then to stay at Pop Century in a preferred room, $284. Art of Animation, $300. Here we go. Animal Kingdom Lodge, $562. The Grand Floridian, almost $1,000 a night to stay at the Contemporary Resort, and I went back to this week through Google to stay there, $652. Margaritaville down the street, 151. Let's see here. The cabins, 441. Holy cow, you can stay at the Waldorf Astoria for only $168 this week. I've stayed there, it's a five-star hotel. It is beyond beautiful and nice. I would actually prefer to stay there more than some of the deluxe Disney resorts most of the time. Saratoga, 281. Yeah, there's just not a lot of availability right now. So yeah, that should give you guys a pretty good idea to how much it is to stay on property and also kind of around the Disney World area. Now, once I make it back to the car, I will pull up and maybe just drive over to some of the nearby affordable hotels and some of them do have theme park transportation. Also, Disney raised the price for a piece. Like, it's insane. And recently, they paused the sales of new AP sales. So, it, all around, it's just very expensive to come to Disney World this year. Even last year, I just feel like every month, something increases in price here at Disney. But I do want to mention, it's just not at Disney World. We're going through a crisis right now. And everything is just more money, even for groceries and living here in Central Florida. Everything is going up in price because of the pandemic. So take that with a grain of salt. One more thing to keep in mind, Universal Orlando is right down the street. And yes, their prices have increased also, but it's still a little more affordable to stay on property at Universal compared to staying on property here at Disney. And you do get some really good perks and benefits by staying at a Universal hotel. I just left the park. I'm heading back to my car to wrap up, but a big tip that I have for you guys, especially those of you who haven't been here in years or this may be your first time coming, all I can say is make sure you have My Disney Experience, the app, downloaded on your phone because that's where you're gonna make reservations. You pretty much do everything on that app in that website. So make sure you have an account and just have that at all times because 
it really saves me a lot of time just by having that app on my phone. I just made it back to the car and now I just want to recap and talk a little bit more about the topic of today's video. Now I know I did say I was going to come in the car and show you guys other good hotels off Disney property that has some good parks, has transportation to the parks and at a very affordable price. I am going to do a separate video on that just so I can explain it a lot better, but I have already done a very similar video to that last year, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll be sure to leave that down in the description as well if you guys want to check that out, but stay tuned for that video. I should be doing it sometime this week or even next week, so stay tuned. If you are thinking about coming here to Walt Disney World in the year 2022, be prepared because it is going to be expensive. And also, in my own personal opinion, I don't think the prices are done increasing. I think we're going to get hit with another increase with either park tickets, merchandise, especially food. So I personally think it's just a matter of time before we get hit with another big increase in prices. Yes, we can blame the economy. We can blame COVID and the pandemic because, yes, that has a lot to do with why everything is more expensive today we can also blame our lovely ceo bob chapek or paycheck whatever you guys want to call him uh, because he's another big reason why everything is more expensive in disney that's why he's cutting so much he's taking so much away that we love and appreciate but we just can't blame bob chapek we have to blame the entire leadership team of the walt disney company even Josh DeMauro. I love the guy. He's great. He has a bright future ahead of him. But he is also signing off on these cuts and the increase in prices. So we have to hold everybody accountable. Also, I know some of you guys down in the comments will be like, well, why do you go? Why do you give Disney your money? Stop going. Yes, that's completely true. But I want you guys to understand. I still enjoy coming. I still enjoy making these videos for you guys because at the end of the day, it's fun, but it's also my job. And I love doing this and I love bringing you guys the latest news and updates and just overall show you guys what is going on at these Central Florida theme parks. And I just want you guys to know that. So yes, I do think it's not going to change until Disney sees a decrease in park attendance. Yes, it's not like how it was before the pandemic and COVID and the park shutting down, but it's slowly getting back to that crowd level. And until Disney sees those changes and decrease, they will not change anything. In fact, they're probably just going to keep increasing things and taking things away. And they're not going to do it until we show Disney that we're done. And I know a lot of you have. A lot of you canceled your trips. A lot of you are not coming. I read your guys' comments. I watch the news. I pay attention. And a lot of you guys are going over to Universal this year. So that's a way that we're going to show Disney, hey, cut it out. We've had enough. But unfortunately, we can't do it unless we all do it. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Also, if you're still coming, if you're still planning on visiting Walt Disney World this year, my other big tip is just to really research when is the right time to come that's going to fit you and your family's needs because if you come on a slower time and you're checking the park availability and the park prices because again Disney will charge you based on what time of the year you're coming if you can find a week or a few days in between you can really find some good prices also some good hotel prices but right now they're just at capacity because there is such a demand for travel right now so just take your time and research anyways that is all that i have for you guys in today's video i hope you enjoyed i hope i was able to explain things well and i hope i was able to give you guys a better understanding to what's going on here at walt disney world in 2022 please go ahead and leave me your own opinions thoughts and concerns down in the comments down below start up a conversation if you enjoyed this video and if you found this video helpful please give it a big thumbs up because it really does help the channel. And of course, if you're new here, please subscribe because I do this all the time. Thank you for watching. I love you guys and YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, Prince Charming out. I am feeling lonely and I'm born and made it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly over those gonna lift me up this time. You are the only one who got me tripping up inside